my channel I do hope you're doing well right we've got a little bit more of a relaxed approach this morning please apologize for my skin this side I've had a flare up last night and I'm not entirely sure why still got last night's lashes on because I couldn't be bothered to take them off but my lovelies it is Sunday we're starting in the morning so what does that mean it's another food vlog weekly what i eat in a week 30 pound challenge so as you'll see in the title today we're going to be doing sainsbury's now our nearest sainsbury's ain't that big so i'm a little bit worried i have planned the meals but i have a feeling we might have to make like some changes which i hopefully we don't but it's not really great our nearest sainsbury's to be perfectly honest so a little bit hesitant but we will still try to aim for our two vegetarian days, a fish day, our Saturday fake away, and then, of course, a roast dinner. But I'm going to have to get some meat today because there isn't any more joints left in the freezer. We've had all the ones from the butchers, and we're not going to be due a butcher stock up for maybe, like, another month or so with the bits and bobs to run down. So, yes, yeah, so I think that might take a bit of money out of the budget. As I say, we've only got 30 quid and we all know from my bank holiday vlogs when I do go shopping without a budget, it ends up being a lot more than 30 quid. So I need to try and reframe myself and hopefully we can get a joint of meat, whether it be a bit of beef, maybe a chicken. Chicken might be a good shout because that's quite cheap. Thank you, Mr. Glade or Airwick, whichever one you are. So, yes, we're going to be going with Sainsbury's. There's not really many I've got left now, I don't think. I'm trying to think what we've got left. Who have we done? We've done nearly them all. I've got a few left in mind. And then after like doing the main supermarkets, I think I might do, say, like an Iceland or a food warehouse because our local stores of them are actually really big and you can get fresh food as well. So it wouldn't literally just be like eating frozen food for a week. So, yes, there's quite a few more to come. And then I was speaking with Bee's mum the other night and I think I might do a few more like food challenges. You know where like you taste test um, own brand and then like the proper brand of it? Might do that or we could do like a week eating own brand versions and then a week eating proper versions you know what i mean so we was having a bit of a chit chat last night and yeah planning at some content there we was so yes i need to get dressed you know when you're just like Mah. the weather is horrible outside it's raining standard like we're supposed to be in spring and summer and it's raining in england fan dabby dozy so yes i need to stop rabbiting get ready because i can't go out in my dressing gown like this can i i look a right state and make sure you're comfy because as we all know these vlogs and weekly food challenges they're going to be a long one probably going to be pipping nearly an hour aren't we as usual but you'll have a good long vlog and hopefully we're going to have some delicious meals this week so yes let's stop rabbiting and let's get over to sainsbury's and hopefully we won't have a flop fingers crossed so my lovelies we are back Un, does Tres bags later, three bags, and we was very, very close to the limit, I need to say, because I think this is the closest we've been. I think was Audi or Lidl, one of them was very close, but this one, it was 29.42, so there we go, you know, I always show you, because people say, how can you do it? You can do it, and also, 130, that was mum's newspaper as normal, 40p was bags, so 170 28.49 about 27 and a half quid so not too bad please excuse me i've got in absolutely parched so i've got my little beauty and the beast glass can you guess what's in it though it's a sunday so we're having a rose strongbow in there all right so don't knock me hydration is key and all that but just fancy sounds sweet so we've got a little strongbow rose mm. Right, we had a problem. I've had to change around the whole menu for the week because we got there and you know what? Sainsbury's veg was actually really expensive and I didn't, I'm used to like the peppers, say being like 80 a pound, 120 max. They was like 140s, 150s there. So all them little 10s and 20p's add up my lovely. So yes, I had to have a little bit of a rearrange. So it's kind of not messed up what I was going to do for the week. Well, it kind of has because I've only got one veggie dish this week. But we've got two fish dishes. So, let me stop rabbiting and unpack this. And then I can show you the menu. And it's another weekly food challenge. <laughs>
if you would have seen a little overview there, we got quite a lot, I think, but not. That's not going to make any sense, is it? No, but hey-ho, I think we've got a lot, but not. Some of the things were really overpriced and some I just think, meh. So have a quick drink and I'll get the meal planner. Right, my lovelies. For this menu of the week, come on, Canon. There we go, a little sneak peek. So, oh, hello. Thank you, Canon. Right. First things first, today is Sunday. Picked up an extra large chicken. This was £4.65. Now, it was £3.90 for their larges, and I know we're on a health kit, but they were tiny, like tiny. So for an extra 75p, we picked up that big boy, but it's still nowhere near as big as the chicken we get from the butchers. But as I say, we're not quite due to the butchers yet, so we're just gonna make do. That we'll do today and probably a few lunches in the week, maybe tomorrow and Tuesday, or mum might have a bit tomorrow in a sandwich and I'll take a bit for lunch. So that will do like one main meal, because you know you do like some big chicken leg and all the wings and all the mm, and then lunches. So we got that. You know I'm gonna make my young Yorkshires. That's like a standard now. Ever since Easter, when I tried it, I won't go back. Unless we go to Tesco and I get me beef dripping. Yorkshire's because I love them ones. So them, and of course we need potatoes. Now we need a lot of potatoes this week. So first of all, Mum picked up a two and a half kilo Maris Pipers. They were two pound, and I was like, it's a bit steep for that. And it weren't until I went back around to look at the veg, I saw these. These ain't Maris Piper. They're just normal teas. But it was two and a half kilo of their imperfectly fresh for 95p so because we need quite a lot this week i've got two big bags so that weren't too bad so i in essence got five kilos for the price i would have got of the one that mama g picked up so that was fabulous so of course we're gonna have homemade roasties chicken homemade yorkshires and then i had to pick up a little just gravy because i don't think we've got enough left to be perfectly honest so this was 75p just a little gravy granules for me trying to find a chicken one but didn't have any. So I weren't too sad about that because I need a bit of gravy in the wheat. Veg wise, what are we going to have today for veg? Swede. This was 85p. I don't know about you, my lovelies, but Swedes, I think, are very expensive. For the size of that, I mean, hmm. I, I do like getting a good Swede from my farm shop, so I think I might have to venture down because that is like by the time it's done and cooked and now, it's not that big. So we're going to have that. Course. I wanted some parsnips this week, so we got a bag of parsnips. These were 42p, so weren't too bad. And then I think we shall have right cabbages as well. The white cabbage was 90p. Oh my god, it was minute. So I saw this for 52p and I said to Mum, what is this? It's just called greens. So she said, oh, it's just like kind of like a savoy, cabbage, kale. Like in Tesco's, you get the spring greens already pre-shredded and it's just literally boiling the water. She said, you literally just cut it up and boil it. So I said, right, that will come in handy. A big bag for 52p because, as I say, we need quite a lot of like cabbage style this week as well. So I said, don't know if it's going to go good or not, but we'll go with that. So I think we'll have swede, parsnips and some greens. Do I want anything else? Maybe, just maybe, pick up some little Sean's made carrots for 62p. Might put a few of them in, depending if we've got enough pans. But let's stop rabbiting. I'm salivating as we speak. The sun is coming out. It's going to be a good day. I'm talking about the roast dinner. But let's roll over to Future Shan and see the roast chicken dinner. I'm so excited. <laughs> El amor es tan corto, olvidarte, no, no, yeah. Los dos amamos de más, enamorado de tu mirar y tú de otra. ¿Por qué eres así? Ya sé, bebé, no sientes lo mismo, lo mismo. I'm 
una aventura y yo, bebé, quería ser tu romeo la última vez. Te juro que la última vez. Se doble cara está de moda. El egoísmo a ti te ahoga y tus mentiras. Eh, no dejo que eso siga. Eh, prefiero un te odio más un te quiero que no sea de verdad. Estoy bien, eso es lo que digo. Pero me duele si respiro El problema no es que hoy en mañana Sino la verdad que nunca pudiste Decirme Yeah, yeah Porque eres así Ya sé, bebé No sientes lo mismo Lo mismo Lo que yo sentí A ti yo fui Da, da, da. Tonight's film of choice is Tallulah. So, you would have seen, oh my goodness, you are very zoomed in. I do apologise for that. So, I shouldn't have probably put on a clean nighty because I think I might drop gravy down it. And that wouldn't be good, would it? So, the Yorkshires are getting bigger and bigger every week, aren't they? I'm very impressed with them. I'm very impressed with the greens, actually, how they've cooked up. Parsnips are extra crispy. Don't quite know what happened with the chicken. The chicken's stuck to the bottom of the baking tray, so I'm not too sure what happened there with that. But, yes, I just found this film. It's 2016. It's called Tallulah. Now, I don't know if I have seen it. It does look very familiar, but it looks like a really good story. Um, a lady is searching for her ex-boyfriend and then she kidnaps a baby from a neglectful mother and pretends the child is her own. So, I can't remember. It says it's intimate, dark and emotional. Maybe not the best for a Sunday afternoon. I was trying to find a comedy, but as you all know, I'm very into my horrors at the moment. So, yes, but I just, I can't believe this dinner the yorkshire puddings as i say are getting bigger and bigger and mm, they are just fan dabby dozy my lovelies so i'm gonna say sayonara we shall see you tomorrow i need to remember to get the sausages out i don't quite know yet i know it's supposed to be sausage and mash but i've got a little bit of batter mixture which i might whip up another little bit extra tonight and maybe possibly do a toad in the hole i'm not too sure yet depends if i can be bothered when i finish work let's be perfectly honest so yes i hope you're having a lovely sunday or you've had a lovely sunday this week and i shall see you all tomorrow i'm going to stuff my face with my roast dinner and just lay in a food coma after to be perfectly honest but yes adios put me film on and let's stuff me face with me roast chicken dinner fan debbie dozy <laughs> And then Monday comes around, and you know what? You know what I'm like with Mondays. I just want quick, easy, bish fresh bosh done. So we're going to use some more potatoes because I'm going to do sausage, mash, peas, maybe some greens and fried onions. So we've got the sausages from the butchers; they're in the freezer. So we'll get them out tonight to defrost. Ow! You know when you sleep funny, like my thigh. Oh my god, I've pulled something. I think. Ow! Anyway, so we're going to get some sausages out of the freezer, do some mash, but I wanted to use up the mash a little bit because we're going to have something else with some mashed potato in the week. And I was like, you know what? We'll treat ourselves to a bit of fresh herbs. So this was 75p. And I just got a little pack of chives. Like, I do like a bit of chives in my potatoes. So we will have that on Monday, as I say. Sausage, mash. Got a bag of onions. These were 82p. We've got some frozen peas in the freezer. So sausages are frozen, we need to get them out. Peas we can get out on the day. Mashed potato, got some onions, got the gravy. Well, let's roll over because you know what I'm like on a Monday. I'm not exactly happy. So yeah, quick and easy. Sausage, mash, peas, onions, gravy. Get in my belly. Woo! <laughs> Like a wild man, asleep.
even like a child You're so luminous and vibrant I'm always in bloom for you Always in bloom Always in bloom for Netflix is set up and here I am happy Monday my lovelies oh I do apologize I haven't checked in with you earlier you would have just seen us go straight into doing the dindins but it's one of them Mondays it is a hectic Monday my lovely and you know what we started the dinner and then I just had to have a bath it's been one of them rah days at work so Oh, I just hit myself in the face with the glasses. That's fabulous. So, yes. Oh, my God. Everything's going on. I'm just sitting here. I found a new film. That Tallulah last night. Oh, that was so good. So sweet. Such a lovely story. So, highly recommend if you want. Not really a chick flick, but reminds me kind of the film Erin Brockovich. Like, it's a nice little story. But I've got one tonight. It's called Dismissed. Now, I'm not going to lie. I've only put it on because it's the kid from Sweet Life of Zack and Cody in the Fault in Our Stars and it's called Dismissed and it says an intelligent but intense honour student traumatises his high school teacher and mentor when he doesn't get the grade he believes he deserves. Just thought that was a bit it for like a manic Monday so yes I've got my food, couldn't be bothered to do toad in the hole to be perfectly honest tonight. Oh are you going to see it? Sausage mash, put some mustard in the mash you know trying to shush it up a little bit i've just got my comfy top and some shorts on for my marini and yes yeah, just gonna sit here i need to catch up on a bit of instagram tonight and then i will just chill i've got a really banging headache as well so that's fabulous and i think this morning when i left work i had a bit of a headache too i think it was the stress of last night because when i went out i had a huge caravan outside my home and I couldn't get my car out so that was great and this morning I had a bit of a palaver trying to manoeuvre her and then I thought she had another flat tyre so but don't worry bug is all good she's all safe and sound so let me just have a little bit of me mash because you would have seen Mama G put quite a lot of mustard that's a bit more mustard than normal but Oh, that is very potent, but hey ho, I love a bit of whole grain mustard like I do love my garlic. What's the time now? It is seven o'clock, my lovelies. This is an hour and a half. I am just uploading another video into YouTube because, as I say, I've been doing a bit of editing last night. So that's all done. And yes, would you have seen it by now? Yes, it will be the Matalan Hall. You will see that that's going up tomorrow. So, fan Dabby Dozy. Anyway. I'm rabbiting, I want me nice sausages from the butchers, me whole grain mash and mm, fried mushrooms and onions. So happy Monday my lovelies, I do hope you're all well. Let me stop rabbiting and I shall see you tomorrow. Tomorrow what we got? Fish cakes? Because we, it was supposed to be a veggie day but Sainsbury's let us down. So yes, I think it's haddock fish cakes. Yes, shan't stop rambling. Happy Monday, my lovelies. Have a lovely evening, and I'll see you all tomorrow. Right, so as we know, Tuesdays and Thursdays are normally my veggie days. I had a great idea to do stuffed beef tomatoes. Do you think the beef tomatoes were big enough? No, they were tiny. So I had to scrap that idea, and I couldn't find anything. I was going to go for vegan burgers, but they were expensive in Sainsbury. So I was like, what can I do? So, I thought we'll have another fish dish this week. This week on the menu for a Tuesday, instead of our veg, we're going to have two fish cakes each. So, I picked up two haddock fish cakes. These were £1.15 each, which I didn't think was too bad. And it says, are these the ones? I think they've got like a little uh, parsley sauce in the middle. So, I thought, you know what, we'll go with them. I'm going to have them. What am I going to have them with? boiled potatoes so we're gonna literally just quarter these or maybe six the potatoes because some of them are quite large and then just rough them in a bit of garlic butter garlic butter or normal butter 
depends what Mama G can be bothered to do. And then I think with them, what did I schedule? Carrots and greens. So we're going to be using the greens again. And some carrots apparently I've put on there. So let's see how our Tuesday non-veggie but fish dish haddock fish cakes went because I do love a good fish cake. I remember I made some quite a while back. I don't know why I haven't made them since because I used tinned, was it tinned pink salmon or red salmon, dummy potatoes, chives, seasoning, a little bit of mustard, some breadcrumbs. Oh my God, that was delicious. So yes, let's stop rabbiting, let's stop salivating Shan and roll over to future Shannon for Tuesday's fish cake dinner. Hello my lovelies, happy Tuesday. Oh God, what a manic, manic day it has been. And I've just got to quickly sort out the thumbnail for tonight's upload, which is to do, do, do Matalan haul. I think you should like that. We've got a few new little fashion pieces in there and a few little um, Easter or Christmas decorations in the sow I may have picked up. Don't judge me if they're in a cell. I'm going to pick them up. You know that. So, yes, today is fish cake day. So, we're going to have fish cakes with some boiled potatoes, chop some chives up in there, put a bit of garlic. Garlic, I don't know. See if I can be bothered because I think the garlic might overpower the fish cakes. So, it might be fish cakes. We'll have the little Chantonet carrots, some spring greens or greens as you call them, boiled teddies. Oh, I was going to say, can you just hear that? My ice cream man just turned up outside. But, no, I'm going to be good. I'm on the health kick. And yes, it has been a manic manic day. I don't know if you're going to see me after because, as I say, I've got quite a lot to do tonight and I've also got to edit another video to get up for Thursday, which is going to be a little bit of a rush if you ask me, but hey-ho. Um, so I don't know if you will see me. You'll see me cooking and all of that, but if you don't see me checking in with you after, I will give you the full rundown tomorrow because tomorrow's fish pie day, so it's still like a fish dish we can talk about. But yes, let's stop rabbiting. Let's get in with the fish cakes. Fingers crossed they're good. Oh, and there was a knock at my window, which means I have a parcel coming as well. So see you later, my lovelies. that happy hump day happy wednesday we're halfway through the week already that's what i like to hear so i know we had fish yesterday but wednesdays is majority a fish day anyway for our week so we're gonna have another fish day i'm gonna do mini fish pies i'm so excited because i haven't done a fish pie in ages and mama g has been banging on at me we've got the parsley sauce in there we got a fish pie mix from iceland when we've done the big food stock up and yeah i just fancied like a nice homely dish so not quite sure how to do it yet i don't know whether we're going to do it in the little individual ramekins you know what we do for like our mini pasta dishes or whether to do a big container i don't know what we're going to do so we shall see that in the future but what we're going to do is have our fish pie mix do the parsley sauce and then in the mashed potato as i say we're going to put some chives in Give it a bit of flavour. And then I picked these up. This was £1.70, I think, for the pack. It's some tender stem broccoli and green beans. So I thought they would just be nice to have a couple of little florets each and some green beans on the side because fish pie is filling. Like, I put quite a lot of sauce. I put quite a lot of potato on it. As you all know, if you saw when I used to do, like, my hot pots and cottage pies, the potato was slathered on. So, yes, we're going to have a nice, happy hump day, middle of the week fish pie. And I'm actually really looking forward to this. So, so we've not done a lot, a lot of proper fish dishes. It's always been like the frozen prawns out of the freezer, doing stir fries or bits and bobs like that. But yes, to do an actual fish pie, I am very, very excited. So Shan, stop rabbiting. Let's flip over to the future 
and see how Wednesday's dinner went. Happy Wednesday! Right, apologies, the kitchen is going to look a little bit of a mess, like the whole house. We've had to gut everything because the kitchen has been painted today. As I say, look, it's lovely and white and empty, but the thing is we have no utensils, so we're just going to have to make do tonight, but we don't need too much. We just need the saucepan. Well, it does look a bit brighter. Just need to. Also, we're going to have a little, like, change around so tomorrow mama g is going to be on cleaning duty and then i'm going to try and pick up some tile paint and maybe we can do that at the weekend maybe sort that out and then at the weekend i will change over where bits and bobs go because so i think i might change the coffee corner and just have a rejig you know but so today is wednesday is fish pie which we are going to be having with the tender stem broccoli and fine beans and you know what there's really not much to it we've literally got peas to go in it this is the fish pie mix from iceland we just defrosted the whole bag plenty of potatoes and then bisto parsley sauce so what is she doing do we need butter yet mother no it has to get soft don't need butter yet anyway so what i need to do is apparently i'm not going to use milk and waste milk we just need to put the fish in the pan with some water bring it to the boil cook it for two or three minutes and then i'm going to do the parsley sauce put the potatoes on to boil and then cook the parsley sauce put the fish in the parsley sauce and put it in the good old veiny looking tray leave it to cool and then once the potatoes are cooked mash them up i think we're going to grate a bit of cheese as well and as i say do not look at the portion size we are making quite a lot because i want this for lunch tomorrow as well so let's roll into it so it's going to be very quick and easy fingers crossed i'm going to jump in the bath actually first because it's not going to take long so yes you will see me when i look a little bit more refreshed and then we'll get on with din din so all right you want to please don't be polite because i like your attitude let's forget about our curfew because all that is stuck in my head is me and you both speed in my heart is racing but i'm not sure i want to pace it because it only does this with you our bodies meet i can feel the tension move us into the next dimension let's just let our bodies be true we make does this look i don't know if you can see oh swimming in cheesy goodness and you know what i cannot wait to try this so we're gonna have a little taste test i did put quite a lot of cheese on the mash but you know me love a bit of cheese so oh my god that is delish delish rundown of the fish cakes yesterday very nice not bad for 115 per fish cake to be perfectly honest so highly recommend them love a bit of chives in the potatoes was going to put chives in this but i think because i've got the cheese i didn't want it too much but we are going to have a little comedy tonight nutty professor clumps too i'm going to absolutely devour this i cannot absolutely wait get me cheese dipped in the sauce and mm, i would like to do this with like proper fresh fillets from the fish mama but hey ho we work with what we've got and it's just using bits and bobs in the freezer so i'm going to stop rabbiting i've got it for lunch tomorrow mum's got it for lunch tomorrow 
fan dabby dozy and i don't know if i said earlier in the vlog that we was having the kitchen done i thought it was thursday for some reason but clearly it's not so i come home and that was quite a nice surprise for a wacky wednesday that we've had but yes oh god the phone's going i just think that looks absolutely delicious my lovelies and i'm gonna cut you short now because my battery is flashing and i just want to stuff this in me gob so see you tomorrow what have we got tomorrow <gasps> like a ratu is it ratatouille ragu cassoulet you know that one that i'm kind of just winging it let's be perfectly honest happy hump day my lovelies happy wednesday and yes i hope you've had a lovely half time of the week because we are halfway there friday is in sight and you know what else is in sight this going in my belly i'm such a gannet but hey ho <laughs> right so i also ran into a problem on thursday's vegetarian dinner because they didn't have what i wanted as i say on tuesday i wanted to do my beef tomatoes and on thursday i wanted to do like a vegan burger well they didn't have any vegan burgers under three pounds so i was a bit like Meh. then i thought oh maybe like a masaka but then i remembered i don't really like aubergine so we're gonna go for this is gonna be a complete wing it dish a vegetable cassoulet i think that's how you call it so i picked up sauce wise an onion and garlic pasta sauce this was 75p because i couldn't remember i think i've done dishes like this before where literally you just bung it all in and let it stew but i couldn't remember if i used chopped tomatoes or a sauce thought a sauce might be a bit thicker so we'll go with that so this is where it gets a little bit the beef tomatoes that I saw were no bigger than these large vine tomatoes. So I thought, well, we might as well just get these and wing it. So we get six large vine tomatoes. These were £1.20. And I'm going to mix them with... I've got two lots of mushrooms. You'll see why in a moment. So these are our regular mushrooms for within the week. Maybe, would I have put some of these in the sausage and mash? Oh, I'm not too sure. I might have done. So I picked up some regular mushrooms. These were 80p. And then in that peppers, as I say, the peppers, Sainsbury's, she was killing me at like £1.40. We're going to pop a pepper in, not too sure which colour yet. And then we're going to have, what do we want in it? Onions. Oh, I've completely lost this, ain't I? Vegetable cassoulet, Sham. What did you want? Right, well, I know we've got garlic bread, so we're going to have a bit of garlic bread in it. Two baguettes for £1.30. We'll only have the one and we'll freeze the other. I'm trying to think. It's in a dish, so we're going to chop up the tomatoes, put in the onions, mushrooms, peppers, give it a bit of a mix. What else could we put in? Maybe some greens? I'm not too sure. I might try and dig out some beans in the cupboard. I think we've got some, like, butter beans, kidney beans, just to, like, bulk it out. I don't know. Is it called a cassoulet or, like, a ragu? Ragu? I should know, thinking like I'm the chef, but... As I say, this is just like one of my wing it dishes. So, let's hope it tastes nice, because if not, I'm going to be quite sad. But, hey-ho, let's go to our only vegetarian dish of the week. As I say, so I have a vegetable cassoulet ragu mix match with some garlic bread. As long as it tastes nice, that's all that matters, right? Happy Thursday, my lovelies. Oh, my God. What a day. It is late now. And I've been doing DIY when I come in from work. I managed to borrow a drill from my workplace because now we're going to kind of like do a little revamp of the kitchen. I don't like the way the net is right at the front. I wanted it like more in the windowsill because I feel like we just lose the space of the shelf and then we're not using them when I don't know why because we can use that like to put the pastas or stuff on. So I have been doing DIY. I just got out of the bath. I've chucked on my little t-shirt that b got me for christmas when i was being a bar humbug of christmas 2020 but yes i'm tired so thank goodness dinner is easy today is like the veggie ragu cassoulet not entirely sure where it's gonna go to be perfectly honest but i know i said we was only gonna have the one garlic bread i think we're gonna have both because i am starving and we're not having any pasta with it there's no protein it's literally roasted veg in a pasta sauce so i need carbs all right don't shout at me i need carbs so yes i'm going to show you like 
little bits of the kitchen when we go in but so i will be doing like a separate little video on it just like i don't know like a little budget transformation it's probably not going to be much of a transformation let's be perfectly honest but like a little separate video just like tidying it up and making it look a bit nicer you know so let me just quickly gather my thoughts because you know when you're hungry and you've got like your hangry brain on i'm just not thinking right so i need to gather myself together and then we can go and get din din started all right but friday is almost in sight hallelujah <laughs> right you know we've got to have loads of garlic in this and it's going to be such a rough chop it's going to be a rough chop like i'm not here fencing cutting the onions and all that it's literally going to be bish bash bosh in it goes so it's literally loads of veg and then i'm just going to mix it with the onion and garlic pasta sauce but as i say no pasta there is a cat in our garden whose cat is that I hear it, it's not Morris though. And then seasoning wise, I've just got salt, pepper, and lazy garlic. So yeah, so let's get on with this. And then it just goes in the oven for about 45 minutes on 180, let it soak down, almost like so it goes a chunky, soupy bit in a way, but then the garlic bread, because we're gonna have a baguette each, I'm hungry, all right? The garlic bread can just soak it all up. I'm so excited. <laughs> For far too long And now you're gone Took me away from my And then literally goes in the oven for about 45 minutes 10 minutes before it's done garlic bread in and then we're gonna have some garlic oozing goodness and it's all veggie eh? you would have seen there put a good little bit of garlic and a bit of juice you know we love garlic let's get this in the oven because i am hungry so my lovelies I'm just going to be watching some YouTube. It's very, very later on now. It is just gone eight o'clock. So, don't quite know what I think of this. I'm not going to lie. Um, it shrunk down a lot. So, I think it's literally just going to be spooning the veg mixture onto the garlic bread. But, oh, it tastes nice at least. It's just like a really thick veg stew in a way. It's not too bad. I'll take it back and I say we have got a whole garlic baguette each. So let's try a bit of it on the baguette. So it's almost like a hot crudite or hot bruschetta, let's say. Let's try it with a bit of the bread. I'm not going to grumble at that, my lovelies. I'm really not. That is actually pleasantly very nice. And it's full of goodness. So, if you hear any banging, Mama G's just tidying up. The banging is like intensified because everything's like out of the kitchen at the moment. So, it's just like echo, echo, echo. The only thing, veg goes cold very quickly. So, it may look like it's steaming. But it is getting a bit lukewarm now. So, I'm going to stop talking, as always, and enjoy whatever concoction this is, but it tastes really nice. Um, I know you're probably thinking, a whole garlic baguette, that's a bit excessive, but you know what, it's been a long day, I've done my nine hour work day, I've come back, I've done DIY, I've had a bath, Mama G's sorting bits out, I just want to sit down and eat now. So I'm going to binge some YouTube, catch up, 
and I shall see you tomorrow. Tomorrow, what is it? We're doing a bit of cooking, aren't we? It's not really a lazy day. Pork chops? Pork chop and wedges? I think. See you on Friday tomorrow, my lovelies. And hallelujah, the weekend is almost here. Bye. Friday is here finally. God, that was tone deaf, wasn't it? So, yes, a Friday is here. And Fridays like Mondays. I don't really like a quick dinner. As you all know, it's normally... What did we have last time? Ravioli. It's normally like a pizza or a ready meal. Something that I can just pop in. Because Fridays is normally my editing night. So, we've gone for a little bit of a change. We're actually going to be doing some cooking on Friday. So, we're going to get a couple of pork chops out of the freezer that we had from the butchers. I've got some peppercorn sauce in there. I want you to get some blue silton. Sainsbury's £2 for a little bit of blue still and like, come on, you need to do like just tiny bits. I don't need a huge slab, just tiny bits. So we are going to have pork chop with peppercorn sauce. I'm going to do some wedges, I think. I'm not going to do wedges. Yeah, or like maybe parboiled fried potatoes. I'm not entirely sure. I've written down wedges, but come Friday, I'll probably change my mind. And then we picked up two little corn on the cobs. I just fancied a bit of sweet corn this week, so we'll probably cut them in half, or will we keep them whole? Not too sure, Mama G will decide on them. So yes, it's just gonna be a quick and easy Friday, but we're actually gonna be cooking. Get the chops out of the freezer, do our like parboiled potatoes, wedges, whatever I decide, bit of corn on the cob, and oh no! God, look at my fat jiggling on my arm when I did that. Lovely. I picked these up. I think these were £1.20. Some large flat white mushrooms, aka a portobello type, because I wanted it almost like a steak and chips vibe, but a little bit healthier. So we're going to have the pork with the peppercorn. It's all coming back to me now, you see. It's all coming back to me now. When you hold me like this, and when you touch me like that. Shine. We're not on X Factor. Get on with the food. So, pork chop with peppercorn sauce, portobello mushroom, lovely, bit of corn on the cob and some wedges. Right, I'm getting way too, like, inventive here. Let's flash over to Friday and see if it actually went how I envisioned it and sung it, apparently. <laughs> Happy Friday, my lovelies. The week is done. Hallelujah. It has been one of them weeks. And there's a lot been done and a lot that hasn't been done. As I say, thought we could maybe try and get the kitchen sorted, but it's just not happening. I think the plan was for today to get the tile paint and that's just really not happened. So, today is Friday. It's our little kind of fake away, but like an easy style dinner. Cannot wait to get this makeup off my face. You know, it just irritates you. So I'm going to jump in the bath, first things first, when I get back from work, I've always got to have a bath. And then tonight is pork chop with some peppercorn sauce. We're going to do some like homemade wedges, chip styles and some corn on the cob. So yes, it's kind of like a little Friday fake away, but it's just quick and easy to be perfectly honest. So, <sighs> I am so tired. It is a joke. As I say, I cannot wait to get this makeup off because I'm just like, meh. You know when you're just like, it's been on for almost, what's the time now? Almost 10 hours. It needs to come off. It needs to be done with. So yes, I'm going to jump in the bath and then you'll see me fresh faced and me and Mama G will just rustle up a little bit of dinner and yeah, hopefully it goes nice, quick and easy. What can go wrong? Maybe the wedges? I don't know. I haven't really done wedges before. Sounds so silly. Mum normally does like chips, but then they go like a really roast potato style. So, who knows, my lovelies. We're just going to go with it. I'm going to stop rabbit and get in the bath and get this off my face. And then we can go and have some food, okay? But I hope you've had a lovely week. Happy Friday. And yeah, let's just get on in with it. <laughs> Like the day before
You're like a stone on my pillow. I don't make a sound when I shut the door. Your favorite music gone all the way baritone. Yeah. Shut the lights, go in front. How good did that look for actually a Friday where we kind of cooked and kind of didn't? I have also <laughs> got the remainder of the peppercorn sauce because what can I say? This little ramekin is literally just for my steak. So let's have a little go and say these are our home cooked wedges. Haven't done them before. Not really much to it. Just peeled the potatoes, cut them, and bunged them in the oven for about what's this one now? About an hour they went in on 180 with some chip seasoning from Home Bargains and ah! Mm. Oh that's lovely, not bad for like a little granule mixture. Mm. Can we just though, look at the size of that chop. That is why I love getting my meat from the butchers now. I've got some portobello mushrooms. Well, large flat mushrooms, but we know. We know what I was going with with this. Did kind of smoke the kitchen out. Not going to lie with the mushrooms. Kind of um, almost set the smoke alarms off. But, oh, I love this. <gasps> Drop sauce. I have put some butter on my corn as well. Put a little bit. Just to like soak in because I don't like to have all the calories she says as she sits here with this plate piled high but hey ho i absolutely love that sauce again home barbecues might be able to pick it up in bnm but it's golden fry you know the people sorry talking my mouth was so rude um the people who do all the gravy and like the chip shop batter and the dumpling mixtures all of that so i am gonna be watching some youtube i just can't get into a new series i don't know what it is i think the last series that i watched was prison break and i think that was like five seasons and i was so invested in that and now i'm just binging loads of films but just catching up on a bit of youtube tonight because i feel like i haven't watched any for ages she says that she literally binged youtube on her lunch break today but Mm. I cannot wait to tuck into this and you know what also I can't wait for just drop me fork tomorrow's fake away the Chinese chicken curry oh. are you a mushroom lover or a hater please let me know I absolutely love mushrooms I feel like I could be at Nando's you know when you have your portobello mushroom side oh. lovely jubbly so yes very much looking forward to a fake way tomorrow but my lovelies it has been a long week a long day and as you can probably tell i am starving and i just want to tuck into my food so i'm not going to be rude and keep sitting here and talking with me mouthful like i probably have done for most of this clip and i'm going to continue now because i want another potato wedge but yes happy friday i'm going to stuff my face now oh just another little email alert leave me with my food and i shall see you tomorrow for our saturday fake way i just love these wedges i love this sauce tonight's been a success my lovelies bye saturday 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 oh my god saturday is here and we know what that means it is a fake way my lovelies so we've got a couple of sauces in the freezer still freezer fridge no covered third time lucky sham and you know me we've done quite a few we done japanese last time we have done mexican we've done a couple of italians 
Indian. Have we done a Chinese? I think we've done like a Chinese stir fry. But we're going to go back to Chinese this week, my lovelies. I'm going to do a nice Chinese chicken curry. I love the sound of that already. But I'm going to do a little twist. I'm going to kind of mix it with a bit of Indian vibe. I picked up four mini garlic and coriander naan breads. These were nine, nine pound. No, they most definitely was. They was 90p. My goodness, what is up with me? I think that strong has gone straight to my head already. Anyway, picked up the mini ones because I don't know about you. I'm not really keen on naan breads and like, I definitely can't eat a large one. So when I saw them, I thought I could have maybe one of them on the side. We have got plenty of rice, as you will know. We've got the chicken breasts in the freezer, the sauces in the cupboard. So we're literally going to put mushrooms, onions, peppers. And then I also picked up, you don't normally get this in a Chinese curry, but I wanted to add a little bit of extra crunch. Got some baby corns. These were £1.30. So not too bad, but we have had cheaper, I'm afraid. So yes, let's stop rabbiting. We all know that Saturday... Apart from Sunday, is my favourite day of the week. Like a fake way in a roast dinner. If I could just alternate them every day for the rest of my life, I think I'd be well happy. Oh my God, I love it. Let's just roll on because I am mm -mm, hungry just thinking about it. Happy Saturday. Right. It is a little bit later today. I've done a bit of filming. I've tried to get my life together, but kitchen is still a stay. The whole thing of getting the tile paint at the weekend kind of flopped. So I think we're going to get that tomorrow, as I say, and we just start it Sunday. There's no, no bother, no problems. But today is breakaway night. So it is a Chinese chicken curry, but we're going to have some Indian naan breads with it because I think I've got some corn crackers, but... I'd have to give them a taste test because you know sometimes like they might be a bit stale. So yes, apologies if I am echoey. This is what we've got to deal with, but it's the best dish of the week apart from the Sunday roast. Chinese chicken curry. We're gonna go quite simple with the ingredients. The only extra veg I'm gonna add is baby corn. So we're gonna have mushrooms, onions, a pepper, and some baby corn, and yeah. Not really much to say. We're going to have normal white basmati rice. We're going to use the last little scraps that we've got left. But as I say, we don't need to buy any more because we have 101 other pulses and grains to choose from. So yes, I am going to go and finish editing a few videos. So you'll probably just see Mama G doing the chopping about. And then you'll see me when it gets to doing the food time. But yes, actually, what's the time now? Six o'clock. I've got something about quarter to seven, seven o'clock. So if I don't check in with you after the food, I shall check in with you probably maybe like tomorrow morning and let you know how it went and how I found it because yeah, I can't miss it. It's either quarter to seven or seven. So if it is, I can't miss it. So if you don't see me looking, well, I say glam. I look a little bit presentable. This was the dress that I picked up in Bank Holiday vlog from George Asda, Nine Pad. Love a bit of George Asda. So yes, if you don't see me in this, you're probably going to see me Sunday morning, hair in a bun, lying on the bathroom floor, maybe reading my book. But yes, let's stop rabbiting. I'm hungry. It's been a long day. Hope you've enjoyed your week, my lovelies. Happy Saturday. And let's get on with our fake way of a Chinese chicken curry with Indian naan breads. Just gonna have a multi cuisine dinner tonight, my lovelies. <laughs> so caught up in the middle, thinking of drowning in those blue eyes. I'm losing sight because I am falling. I'm so deep down, deep down. And it's not a lie that I die. I can't hide.
gets too dark. Oh, oh, I'll be alive. Happy Sunday. Sorry, my lovelies, I couldn't check in with you. Last night I had a few bits and mobs to do, but that fake away. Deliciosa. I think I should have cooked baby corn a bit more because it was a little bit crunchy still. But I actually quite like the naan breads with the Chinese style curry sauce. So, yes, absolutely love that. And then that is our week done. All that food, all in my belly, gone. So I think when we do our next one, I don't know what other fake ways to do now. I think we've done like a good little selection. I'm trying to think, if you've got any recommendations, let me know down below. But if not, I should have a look. Ooh, I do apologise. It is half eight on a Sunday morning. I'm just waiting because today's upload is going up. So yes. Saturday is done. I thought I'd quickly pop on and tell you how I got on with the food. It went swimmingly down my belly and I'm going to have some for lunch today. Even though we've got a roast in our butt. Hey ho, so yes, that wraps off our week. Fake away number. I've lost count. All done. Love it. And then my lovelies, we just got a few odds and bobs. We didn't need much like main essential bits mum still had bread she still had some butter so all i had to pick up was you know that i hunt for these every supermarket i go i try and see if they have a baby version pick up some baby cucumbers you know me these are my ideal snack i can literally sit there and just demolish the whole pack they was 85p Lidl or Aldi? What one did we do last? Aldi was 75p and M&S are a pad. So I don't think, I haven't come to any that you're going to pay over a quid for. And M&S's ones, I could tell the difference between them and Aldi. Like, they they felt cleaner. Like, I still wash them, but I don't know. It just tasted a bit more, like, fresher. But hey, ho, I'm not judging. So we got some mini cucumbers. And then mum wanted... How many pints is this? A two pint of semi-skimmed milk for 80p. And then I wanted some fruit this week, but the budget wouldn't allow it. So I picked up some Onken vanilla yogurt. So don't quite know what I'm gonna have with this. I've got some like frozen fruit in the freezer. So I might be able to do a little bit with that. Or I don't know about you, I can open this and I could eat the whole thing. I'm not going to, I can maybe have like half one night and half the next because it is zero percent fat so they was just a few little snacks you'll notice we ain't got any crisps or bits and bobs because the crisp baskets are overflowing at the moment we need to run them down and in general we just need to have like a big rundown of the kitchen again as i say we're going to probably be going to the butchers in probably about a month oh oh let's just asos tell me about a little order i done so Yes, I think we just need to have like a rundown once again because everything is getting a little bit hectic and overflowing, especially the coffee section. I'm not even going to show you the coffee section because she is overfilling. We had a little delivery from Tassimo the other week because Dada needed some bits. And you know if I'm doing a coffee order, I can't get a couple for myself. So yeah, I've got a few more coffees there. You would have seen when we've done the bank holiday, I picked up three more lots for me Dolce Gusto. Did I need them? No, because now I've got, I will show you these actually. You know like when you get the boxes and then I'm very fussy, as you will know, and I'm very OCD, like with my racks, a certain colour and organisation. So now we've just got the empty boxes, but they're all filled with like the surplus little capsules that I can't fit in there. So yes, that's a little bit, the coffee section needs a proper like doing over. It definitely does. And also, what are we... Right, so Thursday, vegetable cassoulet and pork. Thursday and Friday, the kitchen might look a bit different because, as you all know, we had to have the ceiling replastered and painted because the lady upstairs was practically coming through the ceiling. And we've been left with... I'll show you now because the council are going to actually fix this. We've been left with... You see, like, all that green and brown stuff? So it's like, before they plastered it, they had to put this green liquid on. And I think it was to like seal any holes or whatever. And then they put the plaster on. And 
I mean, the walls weren't perfectly white before, but they were like a magnolia we had it painted. And now, from like where it's been painted, I'll show you once again, because like it does look good, but you see like just the big color difference. And I emailed the council and I was like, when do you know if we're gonna be getting the new kitchen? Because they've been telling mum for the past six years she was gonna get a new kitchen. And then it was only when I started to press it last year, they said that, oh, actually mum had refused. A load of waffle, if you ask me. Um, they'd asked years ago when our nan was here for cancer treatment. And mum said, I'm not having it done in the winter because obviously my nan was here. We weren't gonna have the whole house open and let all the heating in and out. So they said, oh, we'll put you on for next time. But they didn't. The contractor actually just says she point blank refused. I'm sorry, we've got a kitchen from like the 1940s or 50s. What makes you think that we would refuse it? So anyway, I emailed them back and I said like, can't fault the man who's done the work, absolutely great. But the stuff that's like come down, can you like come back and like clean it, wash it? I don't know if there's special chemicals. And they said, no, interior is down to you. So I've got a little bit narky and they're actually sending the same man back out, which is good because mum don't like a lot of different contractors in the house. So it's the same guy who's done it all. He done her room, he's done this. So he's coming back to paint it. Don't quite know what he's gonna do though. I know he's painting the walls. We don't know if he's painting the tiles because if not, I'm gonna go to B&Q one day after work and see if I can just get some tile paint because they told us we was gonna be getting at the kitchen this quarter. And now when I've pressed for the matter once again now they can't tell me they don't know if we're even in the budget for this year so i was like i'm kind of not over it but i do want to give it a bit of a spruce up so i said once it's all like whitewashed again if he's not going to do the tiles or he can't do the tiles that's not a problem i'll try and get a little tile paint will we stick with blue not entirely sure and then i might have a rejig of the kitchen i'm not entirely sure yet um maybe move the coffee section to over here I don't know, because it is, as you all know, it is a small kitchen and we work with what we've got, but hey ho, we we'll try and just make it look a little bit nicer. I even said to mum, like, the cupboards, if I find out what material this is, is it like a wood, a chipboard? Mum thinks it's melamine. I mean, it's got the old fashioned aluminium handles on the bottom, so you can tell how old that is. And I said to her the other day, I said, I wouldn't even mind just taking the doors completely off and just having it open, but she didn't want it open because then that makes her have to make sure that they're tidy. So I said, not to worry. I might try and see if I can just get like a white or a gray paint. I don't want to pay a fortune out on it because I pay a fortune out on this place to live for what I think is an absolute waste of money. As you will know, if you've been following the journey. Oh, I had a response from the council. I did tell you. Um, I asked, it's now been, well, it started in October. So October, November, December, January, February, March, April, May. Eight months, right? And I've had one response out of four for my complaints. So I said to him, like, can you send me the legal team details, please? Because I spoke to a few litigation solicitors once again, and they've said, by them not responding, is their response in essence? Like, if they can't be bothered to get back to you, that is a response. And I don't actually have to wait for their responses if I wanted to go for legal action. So I asked him if I could have the details, and... You can quite clearly tell which council he works with from this response because it was very short and sweet. He said, uh, the council is suffering. No, what was it? The council is suffocating under an enormous backlog of complaints. So you have little option but to wait. Hmm. Do I though? Because the people I've spoken to think I have quite a few options. We still have the bathroom and toilet, which you know is old AF, and the kitchen also. We have no ventilation in here we had an extraction fan in the kitchen and they cut it when they done the double glazing said that someone would be back out no one ever come whenever mum's called they just said it's not urgent i'm sorry if i was in the bath and having a candle on a fella kip and the bathroom went on fire or something was to happen in here and like i don't know something on the hob or the pan there is not one ounce of ventilation in those rooms without smashing a window so yeah, I, I, I did get quite a little bit meh back to him. And also, to top it off, we've got an electrics box, our main electrics box where all the fuses and everything is, that was condemned in January this year. The people come out and they said, this is decades and decades old, don't advise it, this needs to be changed ASAP. So now we've got an electrical hazard as well, but the council, the contractors, mum's like on first name terms with the little lady, she calls once a month for an update, she says, sorry Goldie, she says, we keep like emailing over because you're on the top of the list, but they're just not authorising the works to be done. 
So yeah, I went quite back to him with quite a few options that I've been told. So yes, I said like very politely, then we have no need for further involvement and please don't waste my time sending me any further irrelevant emails because he'd send me emails like, oh, I've spoken to someone but they don't know nothing about it. What relevance is that to me? Because if anything, that just aggravates me even more because I think, you know what? You're saying that we're suffering and the councils are suffering, whatever, but the department of the rent ain't suffering because they had the cheek to send me a first class letter, which how much is a first class stamp? 70p, 80p? To say that I owed 10p because they had done something with the weeks of the rent and I was 10p in arrears. So clearly that department's working fabulously, but the department that needs to deal with the complaints ain't. Look at me. Anyway, I'm rambling. Let's have a bit of Strongbow to calm me down. God, if Dardo's watching this, he'll be thinking, that's my girl. On the old Strongbow. He don't have a Strongbow Rosé, though. He's like classic or dark fruits. He's partial to a Strongbow dark fruits. But let's stop rabbiting. Let's flip over. Oh, my God. Fit, fit. I'm not drunk, honestly. I've only had like half a can of that. Let's flip over, well done Shan, to future Shannon Lee and we would have stuffed all of this. The belly will probably be a little bit larger and we can give our overall verdict for the week. See you in a bit. Hello my lovelies, I'm probably looking a lot better than I have done most of this week, I do apologise but yes I'm just quickly doing a little bit of filming today. You're probably going to think Shan you had this on Friday, we're now, what are we, Sunday today when I'm filming this but Hey ho, if I wear it once, I'm going to put it back on for filming, let's not lie. So yes, how did we get on this week? I don't think we've done too bad. The veggie dishes at the beginning of the week, I weren't, I weren't hopeful on my lovelies. I really weren't because I had my dishes planned and then they just didn't transpire, did they? But I did like the fish dishes this week. Highly recommend the fish cakes. For like £1.15 for two, that's like... 55p just over you can't go wrong sorry one of my roses has fell off and it's really annoying me but yeah fish cakes can't fault them like cheap and cheerful you want to try it maybe on our next one doing homemade fish cakes that could be a shout fish pie right i think the fish pie might be my favorite meal of the week maybe even topped the bake away the fake oil is just like a basic chicken Chinese curry, which don't get me wrong, it tasted lovely, but yeah, I just like oh, quite a lot left over, so that's what I've had a bit of lunch today for. But yeah, I did that fish pie was just mm. I do wish I'm gonna do it next time with like proper fish fillets from the fishmongers and bulk it out a bit more because you know I like my like pies and my puddings. Filled to the brim, shall we say. So, yes, love the fish pie. The ratatouille weren't too bad. Ratatouille, cassoulet, whatever you want to call it, with the garlic bread. I needed the garlic bread because I needed carbs. We didn't have any pasta this week, did we? Did we? No, no pasta this week. So, yeah, I missed out on my carbs. So, a whole load of garlic baguette. Don't moan at me for. Fridays, loved that. I do love myself a good peppercorn sauce. I haven't done looking back on this i don't think i've done like a steak night on one of these weekly food shop challenges maybe because like the steak i like to get from my butchers so maybe when i next do my stock up and then i do this with because i still think i've got about three or four supermarkets i want to do might throw a steak night in there because steak and peppercorn sauce but it was fine with a pork chop as well so yes i think my highlight of this week What's the fish pie, my lovelies? Please let me know what your favourite dish of the week was down below. As I say, I leave a little, like, breakdown every day of the meals that we have. It's not rocket science. If I can cook it, it's easy enough. But, yes, that is another week. Another week of food. Another little vlog. Feels like Vlogmas. And don't shout at me. I may or may not have already started been planning my autumn content. I've even found my intro and outro already, guys. It is the cutest. I just need to find the autumn music to go with it. But yes, can you tell I get excited for autumn straight away? I'm like, the voice goes high pitched and I'm just like... So, my lovelies, if you did enjoy the video, you know what to do. Hit that thumbs up and subscribe down below. As I say, leave me a comment of your favourite dish from this week or anything that you think you can give me tips on. Fish pies. This had haddock, cod and salmon in. What would you add? I'm thinking maybe next time like some prawns. 
maybe some prawns like nice king prawns if there's any other recommendations please do let me know down below would you leave the cheese off the mash and put chives in it what's your preference with the veg ratatouille ragu thingy whatever what could we have with that apart from pasta or rice so we've had bread with it. I'm trying to think of like a pulse or a grain to possibly fill it out. Maybe couscous or orzo. I'm not entirely sure. But yes, I'm going to stop rabbiting. I need to get this edited for next week. And yeah, as I say, hope you're all well. Take care and stay safe as always. And I'll see you all in the next one. Bye.